that you guys so today i'm going to be making some quinoa and i'm going to be making some roasted potatoes with peppers included and then i'll be adding salsa and some seasoning to it so i'm going to peel these potatoes i'm going to be right back and when i dice them up and do the vegetables and stuff you know what i'm saying and then i'm gonna show you how i'm seasoning and how i'm gonna oil it up you know all that good stuff <laughs> Okay, so we've got our beautiful potatoes peeled. Now we're gonna cut these bad boys in there. Um, I was gonna put onions in there, but I'm not putting no onions in there today because I got a special request for no onions, so. Yeah, we're gonna chop this up and I'm gonna preheat the oven to like 350. And, um, it's like 5.36 already. Like, you see how fast time be going? Like, it be fine. So, we gonna get that done. Mm Y'all, I know my knife is dull. And if you're a chef, please do not come for me in the comments, sis. Please do not come for me. I'm going to preheat the oven. It's like 544. It's like, girl, get your life together. You know how long it takes for potatoes to cook. Anyways, I'm going to preheat the oven to 350. And continue to cut. <laughs>
gonna be using this. I know you guys seen this last time. It's the real goat. So, I'm gonna be using some cayenne. I'm gonna be using some sea salt. A little bit of black pepper. Um, what else we gonna use? We're gonna use some parsley flakes. Um, what else? Some oregano. And some basil. Alright. So I'm just gonna start by mixing everything up because it's all clumped together. There's so many potatoes. I'm not salt crazy, it was barely any salt coming out. I'm gonna leave the health benefits for the seasonings that I use down in the description box. Amari's show is about to come on, so I gotta hurry up with this. All right, you guys, so now I noticed that I needed two pans for my potatoes and peppers. And I also realized that I needed more peppers than I did potatoes, but it's okay. Still made it work. Alright, so we're about to get to this quinoa. Okay, it's already been washed and rinsed, so we ain't got to do all that. But I know one thing. I don't know, I'm going to have to put it in this bigger one. This one. Usually I keep like these bottle waters on the side because I use them to cook with. So... Okay, so in this recipe, I will be using two cups of the quinoa, and it's just like cooking rice, um, you'll double up. So I have to have four cups of water, and in the bottle waters that I have on the side that I use, it usually has like 2.1 cups of water in it, so I use that. Alright y'all, so the directions does say that I have to stir it as soon as I put it in and then cover it.
cute. It looks like a happy face. Mm. And I'll let him taste test that for y'all. This is my new favorite meal. Alright you guys, so Dante is here and he brought some avocados and I'm cutting it up for him to put it on his plate and then we're going to see if he likes it or not. Alright, this is what Dante's plate looks like. Like that, I got some. 